What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. Welcome to my Nerf Arsenal. This is the nerf rival area, quite a few chaos blasters, I really dig the Kronos, I have a few of those, the Deadpool edition, three nemesis blasters, and then one or two of each of the others that I primarily used for reviews. Then moving into the hashtag flywheel master race section, tons of strifes, a few rapid strikes, hyperfires, modulus blasters, regulators, then a few ravens, and also a demolisher. Can't have enough flywheel blasters in my right bros. <laughs> moving on to the accurate strike area, then quite a few jolts, I mean everything's a jolt reskin, but these are the original actual jolts, then some basic springers by nerf, then a few zing and miscellaneous off-brand toys, kinda ran out of floor space there, then some vintage, well now they're vintage, like not the elite, that, that is kinda vintage now. Damn, now I feel old. To the Zombie Strike series, this crossbow's fun, but dang it is annoying to store. Nerf mega series, speaking of difficult to store, these things are big. Then to the Doomlands, perhaps you see it peeking in the corner, I put the Deploy in the corner because that's where it belongs. It's in timeout for being such a bad blaster, and it will remain in timeout forever. And up on the table, some Alien Menace and Rebel Blasters. Then to some Star Wars and prop style nerf blasters. And to Busby and Air Warriors, all of those together. This other chunk of blasters isn't in timeout like the Deploy, I just ran out of floor space. This is my Dart Zone and Boomco collection, or perhaps I mispronounced it, a Boomco! because it's all goofy. <laughs> now getting to the magazines and ammo section, I have quite a few magazines. These clear ones in the lower right are 18 round stick mags, my personal favorite magazine. Top right, rival chaos magazines. Directly next to that, quite a few drum mags. Below that are a few 10 round banana mags by nerf. Below those are the 12 round straight stick mags. A few doomlands and miscellaneous off-brand mags kind of tucked in there, along with a bunch of the 12 round rival magazines. Centurion magazines, then we get into the worker stuff where I have a number of their 20 two round banana mags as well as their P mags and their other tactical mags. And running along the top here we have a bunch of six round mags. I don't use them all that much but they look cool when you put them in a row like that, right? <laughs> On a separate table we have a number of Boomco clips. They are clips, not mags. I'm not incorrect in saying that. As well as a few Busby or Air Warriors magazines. And below all of that we have a bunch of Melee. I really dig the Nerf Chainsaw and they were on sale on Amazon a year or two ago so I bought a few of them. The grenades which I recently reviewed, the worker katanas or miniature katanas, and then I have a number of other melee toys, as well as the Dude Perfect arrows. Now to my ammo, which I keep in big bins. A lot of rival ammo, that's probably about 1300 rounds, give or take. Next to that, miscellaneous rival ammo, a lot of that's headshot ammo, and next to that, a bunch of blue waffle head darts. And in the front here, we have miscellaneous darts and other ammo types. I keep everything separated and organized in little ziplocs in, in this tote right here. That's it for ammo, now getting into my attachments area. As you can see, I like the modulus barrel extension. That's from those uh, world's longest nerf blaster YouTube videos. I think I have most of the modulus attachments available right now. I certainly don't have all of the original lens strike or even all the elite attachments, but I have the ones that I like. Uh, quite a few bipods, and that was to support the world's longest nerf blaster. That giant barrel doesn't hold itself up. A number of uh, vertical grips. Not entirely sure why I have that many of those, but I do, I guess. A few modified and painted blasters I've done over the years. The Straven, uh, original mods and all. And down below the table I have other modified blasters. And I have a few other aftermarket stocks, um, all of which are made by Worker actually. A bunch of Worker suppressors and barrel attachments and miscellaneous attachments for blasters, as well as other modified blasters. And that is the modded section.
that concludes my Arsenal update. I'm Frank. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.